Just, up, just in taking this into the questionnaire, I'm sure also was referring to the wars that were f fought under the banner of Islam, as some historians would write, you know, particularly the conquering of Spain, for example, which was talked about. Could you briefly just give us a sort of context in the concept of jihad, how that, from a historical perspective, works? Yes. <clears throat> you see, the first thing is that uh, this conception that uh, jihad means fighting, this is totally false. Mm -hmm. One particular verse I would like to quote, there's one verse which says, Jahid al-Kufara wal munafiqeen in the Holy Quran, it is stated. That, O oh Prophet, you should fight the kufar. I mean, if jihad means fighting, then it means fight with the kufar, you know, disbelievers, and also the munafiqeen, that means the hypocrites. Now, can anybody prove that there was any fighting with the hypocrites in the whole life of the early Prophet Sallallahu So if there was no physical fighting with the sword, then it definitely it means that jihad does not mean necessarily fighting with the sword. So what kind of jihad was being done with the munafiqeen, with the hypocrites? That was the uh, jihad of preaching, training, education, and you know, trying to, trying to trying to make them good and righteous. This was the jihad which was being made. So that means jihad does not mean at all that it is fighting. The other thing is, the whole period <coughs> uh, which is uh, spent in fighting, it is calculated that it is almost three months time. Mm -hmm. All the, the fighting which has taken place between the Holy Prophet and Muslims mm -hmm. and the uh, you know, Meccans. Now the question is, that there are there's almost 22 or 23 years lifespan of the Holy Prophet mm -hmm. as his, you know, as a prophet. So what he was doing for the other, <laughs> you know, 22 years, approximately, mm -hmm. what he was doing, if he, jihad only means fighting, then it means he did the jihad only for three months, and the rest of his life he was not doing jihad, which Muslim will accept it. So that means that uh, jihad has many meanings, and uh, as it has been explained earlier on, jihad is uh, spending in the way of Allah, you know, your money and your time and your efforts and everything which God Al Almighty has given you, if you spend it in, for the benefit of mankind, in fact, for, for the establishment of peace, then it is a jihad. Now, as far as the battles uh, after the Holy mm -hmm. Prophet are concerned, yes, we understand that some battles were uh, fought by some Muslim uh, so-called rulers, mm -hmm. but we are not responsible for them. When we say, we are talk about jihad, or the teaching of Islam, we are only presenting the uh, life of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Our belief is in him that he was the righteous prophet of God. But if anybody else has done something wrong, even if he's a Muslim, we are not responsible for that, nor we can say that uh, it, that's the teaching of Islam. I think that puts it into context, yeah. doesn't yeah. it, not about <laughs> what was, you know, the a true concept of jihad against what is political wars which are still fought to this modern age. Indeed, in recent times, so, you had two Muslim nations in Iran and Iraq fighting each other. That can't be described as no. jihad on either side. Right. It was a political war. Yes, yes, yes. I think, I think I'm, yes, Imam, jihad, sir. I can just make a By all means, more yes. contribution. That uh, one form of jihad has also been mentioned in relation to the Holy Quran. Mm -hmm. Allah Almighty says in the Holy Quran, Wajahid hum bihi jihad and kabira. That with the use of the Holy Quran, you wage the jihad which is kabir, which is the great. So, and obviously, Holy Quran is a book, is a, you know, some total of the teaching. So, with that teaching, how the jihad can be done which can result in the bloodshed. So, it was propagating the message of peace, that is also a jihad. And also, the greatest form of jihad. The Holy Prophet ﷺ has mentioned when he finished his defensive battle on one occasion and he was coming back to Medina, addressing his companions, he said, Rajana min al jihad al il al jihad al From a lesser form of jihad, which is a defensive battle. From that, after finishing that, now we are coming back to the greatest form of jihad, that is self purification. A constant struggle against one's own ego is the highest form of jihad in Islam and that is entirely everybody can see is a purely religious and spiritual struggle. Indeed I think that's a very poignant uh, point to actually cause this particular uh, bring this to a close in terms of this subject matter. 